Hello, uh, my name is Cesar, and this is the second video of the series on the naming convention library manager thingy we're doing. Uh, in the previous video we did, uh, we solved in a very explicit way a name, and now we are going to do uh, default values. So let's get started. So here's the code of the previous session. Uh, if I run this, it's so good. And you can see we're importing naming, which is the library. And we're calling this solve function, passing in a bunch of very explicit uh, tokens. And it will solve exactly the same name as in the line before. Same here. So that's good. Uh, now the thing is, this is very explicit and, and there's a lot of typing involved. So if you have to do your name like in this line or in the next line, uh, this is way more direct, easy to do. And, you know, I hate to say this, but a lot of times people, including myself, sometimes take the short route, even if the long term benefits are not there. So one of the goals is try to make uh, naming very user friendly. So using it is not annoying. Uh, so in order to do that, well, one first step might be have uh, a default values. So we don't need to pass in uh, tokens for everything. So let's do like a new test and let's call this default. So in this case, we are not going to pass in the size, and we're expecting x. Well, and we're expecting let's say that the default is middle, and we're expecting that to pass. So right now, of course, not passing, uh, and it's saying that the, there's no key error, there's no side. So let's implement that. So we say that side have a default. So in order to do that, let's use default I'm using underscore so if you for whatever reason some need to use like a default token uh, it doesn't clash it's just a uh, maybe we can change it later and the default would be M so we have like the data there now it's it's a it's all about how to make it happen so if you see this solve function little function here we are iterating on the keyword arguments and, and we're kind of expecting that the keyword arguments are always complete or we have the same number of items that the fields in this room and that's not true right so how can we get the fields in this rule uh, so we can iterate over it and the answer is fortunately uh, if we import string Python uh, expose that uh, the thing that solve uh, that implement how the format uh, works. So that is in the string. So let's call it fields. Will be equals to uh, uh, it's in string dot formatter. Yes, and there's a very handy parse function. Yes. So if we pass the rule in. Uh, yes, and we print this. We take a look at that. So let me run this. Okay, it's an iterator. So let me do it like this. X for X in that thing. Uh, yes. Uh, so what? Okay. Okay. So very conveniently, we have a list of three tuples and the second element of each tuple is the name of the field. So that's very convenient. So we can do uh, fields. So if, if I do that, I should be able to get all the fields. Nice. So now instead of iterating on the keyword arguments, I'm going to say for F in fields. So we have the fields. So we still need a, a lookup table, but instead of using the key from the keywords, we are going to use the field. 
uh okay cool so if the lookup is none we want to use the same thing so values key uh is equal to the value so that's equal to now a keyword arguments uh if with the field right otherwise that's cool i think Uh, and this is not key, that's, that's it's F because the field, right? Yes. Otherwise, this will be, uh, we need to look in the lookup for the same thing. So keyword arguments, F. And that should do it. So let's see what happened in the test. And it's not doing it yet because there's a key error line 27 because there's no side so here we're trying to get f which is side and side is not there so what we can do is use a get we ask for f otherwise we use a default value of default so get is like a, a get item but uh, it it gives like a default value if it's not found so in this case we are using default uh, and in that case we are going to use default here we will solve m hope it makes sense sounds complicated but it's not so if i run the test it's working uh, so cool so let's say if animation have also a default uh, so let's say And this is, yeah, uh, let's say that just for the sake of an argument. Oops. And I assume that this is, and I run this. Oh, I'm passing something. No, that's fine. Oh, that's fine. It was just a typo. So it's cool. It's working. So we have default arguments. Uh, that's for this video. How's the time going? It's all right. So in the next one, we're going to better implement uh, this uh, require uh, tokens, like description. So we don't need to do description equals to foo and keep improving this. So I hope you like it and see you in the next one. Bye bye.